one. Um, as most of you know, probably that have clicked on this video, um, the Romans of the Three Kingdoms 10 with Power Up Kit is only available in Chinese and Japanese on the Steam page. But as of, I think, August 2021, we do actually have a working English translation for the game. Disclaimer, according to the creator, most of these translations are done with Google Translate. So the translations won't be very good, but it will be at least playable. The first thing I'll have to do is download the game uh, in Chinese. It won't work with the Japanese version. Um, to do that, you just right click uh, on, on the game, properties, language, and then if this is Japanese, you just switch it to Chinese and it will re-download anything it needs. And the next thing you'll need are all the files. So this is uh, GreenPig83's block spot. And uh, GreenPig83 is the author of all of this, and he's the person we have to thank that we can actually play this game. Credit where credit is due. Thank you so much to GreenPig, and I will be linking everything I know in the description. So the first thing you'll need is the actual English patch, which is this link right here. Then um, the next thing you'll need is, um, well, you don't really need it, it's optional, uh, the GRP files right here. And um, they add some nice avatars and uh, translate some of the English texts and duels. If you don't want to create children or officers in the game, if you want to create either of these, you will also need a San Editor, which you can get right here from this link. If you click here, you actually see that you'll be able to download it from here. It's a Chinese piece of software, but I will show you how to use it to do everything you need to do in order to play the game. Uh, the second thing you'll need is the RTK Hero Editor tool, which is right here. And you can get it right here. The Hero Editor tool is uh, thankfully in English, so no problems there. Next, you'll need to install the files, which is fairly straightforward. The file called ing version 3, I think it's called. You just have to extract everything into the main directory of the game. And the files from the GRP folder go into the GRP folder. It's really that simple. Now, the English patch also comes with these registry entries called full screen mode and window mode down here. Um, the thing is that uh, the game actually does have full screen and windowed mode, but for whatever reason, it doesn't show up in the settings. But it does have a key for it in the registry. So if you click either of these, it will change the registry key to whatever it needs to be for it to be full screen or windowed mode. Now, if you don't want to create any custom officers or have any children in the game, you're done. You can just click the Santan English EXE and the game will be starting just fine. You'll be, you'll be able to play it in English. Uh, it should look something like this. Right here you can see load game. I'm just going to load my, uh, my save game here and you'll see uh, if I just talk to anybody, it will be English. Now, if you do want to have custom officers or children, you will have to jump through a couple more hoops. To and I'll show you right here why. So if you create a custom officer, you will see that if you put in any any name, it doesn't matter what, any name you want, if you put it in there, it will not work. It will tell you that the name contains unusable text. And uh, the reason this happens is because the game only accepts Chinese characters as names. To fix that, we'll need two things. First off, we'll have to allow Windows to change the locale for certain apps that don't work with Unicode characters. To do that, you'll have to access Settings, Language and Time, Region, then you can maximize the window, and on the top right it says something like Advanced Settings or something. And we'll open a new window, there you click on Region, and from here you just click the rightmost tab, and then change locale. And here you can you have to change uh, your locale to anything traditional Chinese. I chose the Hong Kong one now here, but doesn't really matter. Next, you'll need to have a way to input Chinese characters. So you have to go to your language settings and then add any Chinese traditional language. Say, um, I don't know, let's use the Hong Kong one again. Let's install all of this. It'll actually take a couple of minutes now, once you're done installing, you click on your new uh, language setting, click on options. And now uh, I'm getting some errors here, but you shouldn't be. Now click on um, click on the keyboard options, and you should probably get Microsoft Bopo Mofo, just for the fact that you can just easily 
pick any symbols, but it doesn't really matter which input method you really use. Now that you've done that, you've installed everything, you should be able to play. Launch the game via the Centan English EXE. You can't actually launch it via the normal XT and you can launch it via Steam. You'll always have to start it through that new um, EXE file that you get with the English translation. Now, um, whenever you cry, try to create a new officer, like this, you will have to go and put in a Chinese character. Uh, you'll just click your language settings, click the Chinese Popomofo or whatever input method, and then you go to the name right click on the little Chinese symbol and go to IME block. And now you can just pick a random Chinese symbol. Probably you should pick one that you can remember. So something like this. Some of them won't work like this. See, some of them won't work. Some of them will work. Um, like, like this should work, right? See, it works. Uh, I usually put in the same thing twice, making it easier to, um, remember now and now you can see that the button actually turned green and now you can save your officer like this and you should be done now you probably do want to change the officer's name so uh, it actually has a proper name in game to do that you have to export your save file uh, your officer file go to export file pick your newly created officer there you go so next thing you will need is the hero editor the hero editor makes it really easy to change any hero name. So you um, have to double click the exported person, put in any name. I think we only have three characters, right? No, it actually works. Um, okay, now that you're done with that, you can go back to the game, import your new file, and uh, now oh, save. And now if you uh, create a new game, Click Debut and pick your new officer that you just renamed. And that way you will be able to play with properly named custom officers. Now, if you have children in the game, I don't actually have any footage of a child being born in this game, but I do have a child, so I can show you how this works. You will need the Santan editor. So when the child is born, you do the same thing you did just now um, for when you create a new officer. You'll have to put in the Chinese text and then you have to edit it and to edit it you can't use the hero editor you have to use Sen editor you do want to load your save game for this so you load the save game like this the reason you have to have the your save game open is because uh, the Sen editor actually attaches right here it att attaches to Sen 10 so um, now you'll be able to edit to do that you click uh, right here where it says E for edit and then you press again the option that says E in brackets and this will give you the option to change your child's name and everything beyond that really but you know um, for uh, the sake of this let's just focus on the name you will have to just change the name right down here this is the um, the given name and this is the family name rename it now you have to save before that you just have to um, click this and now if we come back it should work yeah there you go you just have to uh, remember to save and that's all that there is to this